Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are uh, trying to determine a rule, uh, basically finding that pattern, that mathematical pattern given a table and given some of the values, some input output values, right? Your X is your input, your Y is your output, right? So to determine what do I do to the input that creates these output values? And, and where is it consistent and what is that rule and put it in terms of y equals mx plus b. So this problem is coming from CPMs, course three, and this is chapter five closure. Uh, and this is number 565. So it says use the table below to complete parts A and B. So first of all, it wants us to complete the table, but in order to complete the table, it'd be easy easier to kind of determine what that rule might be. What's that pattern that we see? So I like to start off with the positive numbers and not equal positive numbers because sometimes this one and one kind of throws you off. So I'm going to go to the five to nine, right? What math can I do to the five to get to the nine? So I, I, I could start by saying, well, I know five plus four is nine, right? So five plus four is nine. So is that true with the one? If I take that one and go one plus four, do I get one? Is one plus four equal to one? No, it's not. So it, it, it can't be plus four. So the answer is not adding four. So I know that's not the one. So then let's take a, a different one. What if we do, let's see, if I, if I can't just add, maybe I do some multiplication and addition or subtraction. So what if I multiply by two? Let's start with that. I tend to just work my way up. So two times five, well, two times five is 10. So to get from 10 to nine, I would have to then subtract one. So two times five is 10, 10 minus one is nine. So that works. So let's check that with the one. With the one then, two times one minus one. Two times two is one, excuse me, two times one is two, and then two minus one equals one it does it works so it works for this one it works for this one that's most likely the pattern but just to double check they give me this one here so let's check that one so i'll take the negative one and i'll say two times negative one minus one right two times negative one is negative two and then negative two minus one ah sure enough that does equal negative three so yeah that checks out too so there's my pattern so I'll go to write the rule, then I'll go back and fill in my blanks here. So the rule would be my Y, my output is equal to two times my input. So two X, then minus one. So that right there is the rule. Two times the X minus one. So I just need to do that each time. So let's go through. So what is two times? So I'll, let, I'll do it here, do some math on the side. Two times negative five minus one, All right? That's what's going to go right in here. 2 times negative 5 minus 1. Well, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 then minus 1 is negative 11. So, yep, yeah, negative 11 goes there. So then let's check the 3. So 2 times negative 3 minus 1. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7, right? Because you're taking a negative and you're subtracting a positive. So you're actually getting more negative, right? It's going down. It's going that direction on the number line. So negative 7. Then 3. So two times three minus one, two times three, that's what I'm putting in, is six. Six minus one is five. And the last one, two times seven is 14 minus one, makes that 13. Okay, there we go.